Cadets across the country form uh, perhaps a, you could call it a farm system for the military, but the training is quite often at a stellar level. And we've got three examples with us here today, three cadets, all from Western Canada, all who won I don't know, a contest or award, we'll let them tell us, uh, to be here today. What's your name and rank? Warrant Officer Second Class David Joyner. And where are you from? Uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. All right. Chief Petty Officer First Class David Fitch, Edmonton, Alberta. Chief Warrant Officer Tegan Martin, Calgary, Alberta. All right. So how did you guys get to be here today? What did you have to do? Was it a, a course you were on? Is it a recognition of outstanding service? It was a recognition, yeah. Right. What about yourself? Uh, yeah, it's just uh, the legions, the National Legion, recognizing uh, a cadet from each of the services, and this is the, the reward that we get for uh, our service. I was talking about training. Each of you are with different elements, air, sea, land. You've got jump wings on. That, that is not just going down and marching at the armories once a week. Tell me about that. Uh, it's a five-week basic parachutist course that I did in Trenton, Ontario. It's a senior-level course for Army cadets. They select 50 from across Canada, and uh, very fair, few get to graduate. It's the actual military qualification that I wear in my CF uniform. Wow, that is fantastic. Now, tell me about your training. Uh, I'm going to guess that you've been able to get your pilot's license through cadets or fly. Uh, what level are you at there? Well, right now I've uh, got my glider's wings that I just got this past summer. Um, and in the summer to come, hopefully I'll be getting the uh, power scholarship. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing for as the para. There's the, the selection process for um, specific people for the gliders and the power scholarship. This is something you don't get to do at school, is it? No, 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 it isn't. It's very, very specific. All right. Now, what about on the on the seaside? What is it that you get to do that uh, people wouldn't know about? Would go, wow, that's cool. Uh, I get to participate in Olympic qualifying regattas. So I race 420 boats, um, and I also get the chance to teach youth in cadets can their to get their uh, can sail levels. That's fantastic. Now, when I joined cadets, I just got a call from my cousin, who was the commanding officer of the unit, and said, hey, we'd like you to come down, and I knew nothing about it. Ended up loving it. Do you guys know what you were getting into when you joined, or how did you get involved? Well, they, my dad had volunteered with uh, an air cadet squadron in Winnipeg uh, long before I was, I was um, able to join. He was also an air cadet himself, as well as my mother, and it kind of just it followed through. So a family connection for you. Very what much about so, yourself? Yeah. Uh, my father and both my older sisters were in uh, cadets, and I started in Navy League when I was nine, and then I moved up to Sea Cadets when I turned 12. All right, and uh, grandfather was in the reserves for 34 years, and my mother was the first RSM in my cadet corps that I'm in charge of now. Oh, wow, first RSM. So what's the best thing about w your cadet experience? Uh, we'll start with the Highlander. Uh, I really enjoy the giving back. I've done a lot in the cadet program, but I think the biggest reward for me is being able to give back to the cadets and providing these opportunities for the younger cadets and being able to develop better citizens for the country. So you, you're now at the stage where you're training the new recruits, the young cadets. Yes, yeah, so it's all about the development, the leadership, the citizenship roles. I have surpassed everything that I wanted to do, and now it's my chance to give back to the program and teach the newer kids what it's about. I really love the opportunities I get to uh, to travel and really to uh, gain experiences for myself. I never thought I'd be a sailor when I was younger, and now I teach youth and I race in Olympic qualifying regattas. So, you're from Edmonton, right? Yes. Not a lot of sea in Edmonton. Not a lot of oceanfront. No, I uh, I do most of my sailing in between BC and Ontario, so <laughs> not a lot of home sailing. All right. What about yourself? Well, there's the whole skill factor, like. For all three of us, we've all had the ability to go in and find some form of skill we can kind of attain for, whether it be for the Olympics or uh, just like uh, a, a job base. It's There's a lot of the skill factor, yeah. A lot of leadership training. That too, yeah. We, we're all in the higher ranks, so we all have the ability to um, take positions of, of authority and, and, and help the, the younger cadets learn about um, what it's like to be in the, the, the cadet program and everything. All right, uh, last question. I'll ask you quickly what it's like being here at the National War Memorial uh, for Remembrance Day. It's, it's, it's a lot to think about, yeah. It's definitely uh, the biggest honor I've had in my cadet career. Uh, truly a humbling experience to see what it represents. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your service. That's, uh, that's it in a nutshell, leadership and experiences, the cadet movement. Maybe you should check it out. We'll make